Hello everyone, my name is Shireen and welcome to the tiny bookshop. This has been on my radar for a very long time. So let's see what the demo is about. Today is the day. I've packed up my things. Oh, okay. Leaving everything else behind. For a quiet life by the sea. Oh, wow. <laughs> Tiny bookshop. So basically the idea of this game is that you play the character who has a tiny bookshop in a tiny house and you drive around um, cities selling books in your tiny bookshop and then along the way you get to meet characters, you get to design your bookshop and add books to it and sell books from it as well. So you can open it. Uh, oh, okay. You have to highlight it? No. Oh, click it to open it. Oh, I see. Okay. Hi. So we have our genres over here. So we're at the moment we have, it looks like three. Oh, no, we have more. So we have uh, three crime books, three drama books, ten factual books, four fantasy books, uh, three classic novels, seven key books, and then ten geographical books, it looks like. Ah. Oh, okay. Tildy. My, my, what a sight. You must be the bookseller. I've heard so much about you. Oh, um, wow, how? Like, what? Wow. Oh, what, how? Sorry. Oh, don't worry. I have my sources. Anyway, welcome to the quaint little town. I'm glad you decided to stop by. I thought you might need someone to show you the ropes around here. I'm Tildy. I used to run the local bookstore here before my retirement. Retirement? Why is that? Anyway, lovely to meet you. Let's see, you should know that us Bookstonians have very particular taste in books. I, for example, prefer to read crime, classic and crime novels and not much else. So why don't I have a look at your selection and see if I can find something worthwhile. Okay. And she's looking. Oh, she picked up a crime book. Bravo, you had the right book on hand. Oh. When a customer finds a book, they will keep looking for more. Ah. Perfect. I had lost my copy of Dracula. <laughs> oh, we got another customer. Oh, sadly, you didn't have the right book offer. Even though you may have books of the right genre, whether people actually take one home depends on your sale chance. You can check your sale chance at any time by pressing the menu button and hovering over the genres on the right. Oh, okay. So I can do this. And do that. Okay, now open the magnifying glass. 26%, 29%. Okay, that's cool. Okay. Sell chance. We can glass over a clue to inspect. Yeah, okay. Ah. Odds that someone might find a book they like. Because the chance is based on how many books you have in the shop. It will decrease as you run out of books throughout the day. Yeah, I was going to say that. Managing to sell that last book of the genre is the mark of a great bookseller, very true. To close the book tool tip, press B or the other one. Okay, cool, nice. Very good and simple. Oh, she bagged that one, all right. Oh, we've got a ge geography book. Oh, Kakaru Kazoo. <laughs> Bye, TLD. Oh, no, okay. Can we check our car? No. All right. The jogger's still jogging. That's hilarious. <laughs> Bye, jogger. And then we literally just wait for them and see. We can explore a little bit though, right? Yeah, we can see as well. Cool. Border la mer. Beautiful. What happens if we like close? Oh, we got another customer. Another jogger. Fern, um, hi there. You're the bookseller, right? I see you already talked to Tildy. Did she mention her mysterious sources to you too? <laughs> yeah, she does that. Told me all about the review before I had even started my job there. Oh, um, I'm talking about the Bookstonebury review. It's local people, yeah. I sort of write for them. My name's Fern Estrada. Glad to meet you. 
Your arrival is kind of the only interesting thing that happened here in a while. So you'll have to excuse my nosiness, but it's sort of my job to write about you know you now. Um, how about you help me out by answering a few questions and I'll give you a free subscription in return? I don't really want a subscription, but okay. You might appreciate the events calendar and people often sell used books in the in the class of fields. Class of fields? Right, so um, for the record, what made you come to Bookstonebury? Um, we escape searching for where I belong. Uh, mm, an adventure. Oh wow, I kind of feel the same way. I hope it works out for you. Thank you. Okay, and what's your first impression of the town so far? Very uh, windy. <laughs> Intimidating friendly, I think. Uh, it is very windy. I'm going to go British. Like, British love the weather. So talk about the weather, so I'm going to go very windy. Oh, I guess that's true. Although I enjoyed the weather here. In my hometown, we only had rain season and less rain season. <laughs> Thanks so much for the little interview. I really appreciate it. And I promise you'll have your first copy of review by tomorrow morning. Okay. I don't like the way the word's cutting off. It's really annoying me. Um, I'll have a look at your selection now, if you don't mind. Um, see you around? Sure. Bye, phone. See you later. Oh, we've got another one. Okay. Oh, you can see our money as well in the um, top right-hand corner. Oh, very nice. Cool. This is cool. Oh, we got a dog! We got a little doggo! <laughs> oh, it's so cute! Oh, I think it's getting night time. This is so cool! I'm gonna try and check the controls and stuff and see what. Oh! Okay, now we have to close it for the day. Alright. And we're off! Day one done. Okay, we are back. Unfortunately, the game froze on the loading screen, so I had to restart the whole thing and the whole demo, but we now have got to this place. Okay, so Doomsbury Review. Filled with articles, events, and items for sale. Thanks, phone. Alright, cool. Uh, oh, thanks, phone. Not thanks, phone. <laughs> wow, so this is the actual nurse people that we are now subscribed to. Okay, reports on goings on around the town. Days and tomorrow's weather. The weather? Okay, I guess. Uh, I don't know what that surprised me for. <laughs> Upcoming events. See the money in your pocket. And all the books you own, both in your shop and in storage. Looks like they're running a little low. In the classifiers section, you can acquire used books to replenish your stocks. Let's give it a try. Press A to buy. Okay. Basement bin bargain. No, <laughs> I, why are the words cut off? Like it's actually annoying me because it makes me like, when I read it, it's supposed to be bargain, but because it's got a dash to it, I say bargain. Like why did they do that? Why are the words cut off? That makes no sense. Just make the text smaller, no? <laughs> like, I'm sorry, like it's genuinely annoying me. Secondhand books, basement bargain. Children's Collection, Reading Grade 10, okay, we need some crime books, right? Crime, drama, or fantasy I think we need? I don't say what they do. Grade 10. Seasonal Cactus, oh we can buy stuff for the, oh yeah we can buy stuff for the um, bookshop as well, so let me buy a cactus. Yes, okay, thank you. And then a cooler. Don't really need it right now. Uh, textbooks. Little ones would love those. We don't need any kids, but we've got loads of those. Oldie book goodies. Not sure what's in here. Let's get the oldie book goodies. Oh, nice. Cool. We've got lots. Maintaining a good stock of books is an important part of any books adventure. Very true. Close the newspaper. Let's give this lonely cactus a new home. Yes, we shall. LT to open your item bar. Oh, cool! Why? Oh, from here you can open the newspaper and customize your bookshop, amongst other things. Ah. Why? 
Okay, I'm gonna try this demo one more time, and if it doesn't work for the third time, I'm gonna call it a day. It's cute, it's nice, it's a game that I've been looking forward to, and it actually is fun to play, but if I can't actually play the game, what's the point? There we go, throw the newspaper. No, I have to open that. Why? No, okay, I'm done. Well, I am done with this demo. Uh, I've tried it three times. And it keeps doing this loading screen freezing thing. Um, I, know this, I know this is a demo version, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, why the, the thing? Why are there so many loading screens anyway? Right? Like, or is it just me? Well, this is very unfortunate. Um, I wanted to play for this game because I was looking forward to it. Um, hopefully, there will be updates and bug fixes. Um, while the demo is out, I will keep you all posted. But uh, yeah, that's it for what I've seen so far. It looks like a cool game. I would definitely play this game. Um, I love reading. I love going to bookshops. So the idea of basically having my own bookshop that I can fill with whatever I want and decorate it the way I want sounds amazing. It sounds very cozy. But unfortunately, I can't play it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna call it a day for now. I'm gonna try and load it one more time. Uh, but yeah. I don't think we're going to go anywhere with this. So yeah, that is very unfortunate uh, that I can't play the demo, but what I've seen so far, I've really enjoyed. So if you want to check out the demo, it's on Steam. I'm not sure how long the demo is available for, but I hope they fix the bugs and I will see you in probably a live stream if they do fix these bugs and I'm able to play through the whole thing. But uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video or live stream. Peace out.